Ronaldinho, the legend, the magician, the icon. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Football Pro Channel. Today we're in for a real treat as we explore the amazing story of a football legend who dazzled the world with his unparalleled skills and unforgettable moments. The Brazilian icon, Ronaldinho. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more incredible football stories. Now let's dive right in. Born Ronaldo de Assis Moreira on March 21, 1980, in the southern Brazilian city of Porto Alegre, Ronaldinho's journey to becoming a football icon began at a very young age. Growing up in a humble family, his father, Juan Moreira, worked as a shipyard welder and played amateur football, while his mother, Dona Miguelina, was a salesperson at a cosmetic store. Ronaldinho's older brother, Roberto, was also a talented footballer, signing with Grêmio, a top Brazilian club. From an early age, Ronaldinho's love for football was evident, and his talent shone through as he played on the streets and in local futsal tournaments. His parents recognized his potential, and he encouraged him to pursue his passion for the beautiful game. Unfortunately, when Ronaldinho was just eight years old, tragedy struck the family when his father passed away after suffering a heart attack in the family swimming pool. This devastating event served as a driving force for the young Ronaldinho, who became even more determined to succeed in football and honor his father's memory. Ronaldinho's brother, Roberto, played a significant role in his early development, not only as a mentor, but also as an inspiration. As a teenager, Ronaldinho joined the youth ranks of Grêmio, the same club where his brother had played, and quickly made a name for himself due to his exceptional dribbling skills, vision, and creativity on the field. In 1997, at the age of 17, Ronaldinho's talent was on full display as he led Brazil to victory in the FIFA U-17 World Championship in Egypt. His exceptional performances throughout the tournament earned him the prestigious Golden Ball Award as the best player. This victory put Ronaldinho on the radar of football clubs and fans around the world, marking the beginning of his meteoric rise to stardom. Back in Brazil, Ronaldinho continued his development at Grêmio, making his senior debut in 1998. With his exceptional skills and unmatched flair, he soon became a fan favorite. Over the next few years, Ronaldinho's performances in the Brazilian league caught the attention of European clubs, as his incredible dribbling, precise passing, and ability to score stunning goals became more and more evident. In 2001, Ronaldinho made the leap from South America to Europe, signing with French club Paris Saint-Germain (PSG) for a reported fee of around 5 million euros. This move marked a new chapter in his career as he sought to make his mark on European football. At PSG, Ronaldinho continued to showcase his flair and creativity, mesmerizing fans and opponents alike with his unique blend of skill and entertainment. However, Ronaldinho's time in Paris was not without its challenges. Initially, he struggled to adapt to the physicality of European football, and his off-field partying habits drew criticism from both the club and the media. Despite these issues, Ronaldinho's talent was undeniable, and he continued to produce moments of brilliance on the field. In 2002, Ronaldinho's national team career took off as he played a vital role in Brazil's triumphant FIFA World Cup campaign in South Korea and Japan. Following the World Cup, Ronaldinho's stock continued to rise, and by the end of his tenure at PSG, he had scored 25 goals in 77 appearances for the club. Although his time in Paris was a crucial stepping stone in his development, it was his move to Spanish giants Barcelona in 2003 that would truly catapult Ronaldinho to the status of a global football icon. When Ronaldinho signed with FC Barcelona in the summer of 2003, the club was in a transitional phase, having gone four years without a major trophy. Little did they know that the arrival of the Brazilian magician would usher in a new era of success and change the course of the club's history. Ronaldinho's five-year spell at Camp Nou saw him reach the pinnacle of his career, leaving an unforgettable impact on the team and its fans. Under the guidance of coach Frank Rijkaard, Ronaldinho quickly became the centerpiece of the team, with the Dutchman giving him the freedom to express his creativity and flair on the field. In his debut season, 2003-2004, Ronaldinho made 32 appearances in La Liga, scoring 15 goals and providing 9 assists. The following season, 2004-2005, he scored 9 goals and contributed 15 assists in 35 league appearances, helping Barcelona to clinch their first La Liga title since 1999. Ronaldinho's performance in the 2005-2006 season was nothing short of spectacular. He made 29 appearances in La Liga, scoring 17 goals and registering 10 assists. 
This season also saw him play a key role in Barcelona's UEFA Champions League success, with seven goals and three assists in 12 appearances. This triumph marked the club's second European Cup and solidified Ronaldinho's status as one of the world's best players. In the 2006-2007 season, Ronaldinho got 21 goals and 13 assists in 36 league appearances. His on-field brilliance continued to captivate fans and opponents alike. In his final season with the club, 2007-2008, Ronaldinho struggled with injuries and a drop in form, making only 17 appearances in La Liga, scoring 8 goals and providing 3 assists. During his time at Barcelona, Ronaldinho scored a total of 70 goals and provided 50 assists in 145 La Liga appearances. In all competitions, he amassed 94 goals and 71 assists in 207 appearances for the club. His incredible performances earned him numerous individual accolades, including the FIFA World Player of the Year in 2004 and 2005 and the Ballon d'Or in 2005. Ronaldinho's spell at Barcelona was marked by moments of pure magic, the likes of which had rarely been seen before in the footballing world. His audacious dribbling, no-look passes, and jaw-dropping goals left fans and opponents in awe. One of his most memorable moments came in 2005 when he scored a stunning solo goal against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu, earning a standing ovation from the rival fans. Beyond his individual brilliance, Ronaldinho played a crucial role in the development of future stars, most notably Lionel Messi. The Brazilian took the young Argentine under his wing, mentoring him and helping to unleash his full potential. The impact of Ronaldinho's guidance can still be felt today, as Messi continues to dominate the footballing world. Ronaldinho's tenure at FC Barcelona will forever be remembered as a golden era for both the player and the club. His extraordinary skills, unmatched creativity, and magnetic personality transformed Barcelona into a dominant force in world football and laid the foundation for the club's future successes. The legacy of Ronaldinho's spell at Camp Nou continues to inspire and entertain football fans across the globe, ensuring that his magical performances will live on in the hearts and minds of those who witness them. Ronaldinho's illustrious national team career with Brazil saw him become one of the most iconic and influential players in the history of the Selecao. From his debut in 1999 to his final appearance in 2013, Ronaldinho's skill, creativity, and passion for the game left an indelible mark on Brazilian football. Earning his first cap at the age of 19, Ronaldinho's talent was already evident, and he quickly became an integral part of Brazil's national team. His first major international tournament came in the form of the 1999 Copa America, where Brazil finished as runners-up to Uruguay. In the tournament, Ronaldinho played in five matches and scored one goal. Ronaldinho's true breakout moment on the international stage came during the 2002 FIFA World Cup in South Korea and Japan. Playing alongside legendary Brazilian players such as Ronaldo and Rivaldo, the 22-year-old Ronaldinho played a pivotal role in Brazil's successful campaign. He appeared in five matches during the tournament, scoring two goals and providing three assists. One of his most memorable moments came in the quarterfinals against England, when he scored a remarkable 40-yard free kick that ultimately secured Brazil's place in the semifinals. Brazil went on to win the World Cup, and Ronaldinho's performances during the tournament solidified his status as a rising star in world football. Following the World Cup, Ronaldinho continued to be an integral part of Brazil's national team, with his next significant achievement coming in the 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup. Brazil emerged victorious in the tournament, and Ronaldinho's individual performances were nothing short of spectacular. He played in all five matches, scoring three goals and providing one assist. His outstanding displays earned him both the Golden Ball as the best player of the tournament and the Golden Boot as the top scorer. In 2006, Ronaldinho was once again a key figure for Brazil as they participated in the FIFA World Cup in Germany. Although Brazil entered the tournament as favorites, they were eliminated in the quarterfinals by France. Ronaldinho appeared in all five matches during the tournament but failed to find the back of the net. Despite not making the squad for the 2010 and 2014 World Cups, Ronaldinho's contributions to the Brazilian national team remain highly regarded. Over the course of his international career, he earned 97 caps, scored 33 goals, and provided numerous assists. His flair, 
creativity and unique playing style made him a fan favorite and inspired a generation of Brazilian players, including the likes of Neymar and Vinicius Jr. Ronaldinho's national team career is a testament to his incredible talent and the impact he had on the footballing world. As a World Cup winner and a vital part of Brazil's storied football history, his contributions to the Silicão will be remembered and celebrated for generations to come. Following his unforgettable spell at FC Barcelona, Ronaldinho's career took him on a journey across Europe and back to his native Brazil. Despite facing challenges and experiencing a dip in form, the Brazilian magician continued to enchant football fans with his unique skills and flair. In 2008, Ronaldinho signed with Italian giants AC Milan, joining an illustrious squad that included the likes of Kaka and David Beckham. In his debut season, 2008-2009, Ronaldinho made 29 appearances in Serie A, scoring 8 goals and providing 7 assists. The following season, 2009-2010, saw an improvement in his numbers, as he registered 12 goals and 14 assists in 36 league appearances. However, Ronaldinho's time in Milan did not yield the same level of success he experienced in Barcelona, and the club failed to secure any major domestic or European trophies during his tenure. After two and a half seasons in Italy, Ronaldinho returned to Brazil, signing with Flamengo in January 2011. Back in his home country, Ronaldinho's performances initially showed promise, as he played a vital role in helping Flamengo win the 2011 Campeonato Carioca and the 2011 Taca Guanabara. However, his time at Flamengo was marred by off-field controversies and disputes with the club's management. In 2012, Ronaldinho left Flamengo after making 33 appearances, scoring 15 goals, and providing 14 assists in the league. Ronaldinho's next move took him to Atletico Mineiro, where he experienced a resurgence in form. In his first season, 2012, he played a crucial role in helping the club secure a second-place finish in the league, making 31 appearances and contributing 9 goals and 12 assists. The following year, Ronaldinho reached the pinnacle of South American club football as he guided Atletico Mineiro to their first-ever Copa Libertadores title in 2013. He made 12 appearances in the competition, scoring 4 goals and providing 7 assists. In 2014, Ronaldinho left Atletico Mineiro and embarked on a brief stint in Mexico, signing with Liga MX club Querétaro. His time in Mexico was short-lived as he made only 25 appearances, scoring 8 goals and providing 5 assists before returning to Brazil. Ronaldinho's final professional club was Fluminense, where he played for just over two months before mutually terminating his contract in September 2015. He made only nine appearances for the club and failed to register a goal or an assist. Although his career after Barcelona was not as consistently successful as his time at Camp Nou, Ronaldinho's post-Barcelona journey was filled with memorable moments and flashes of brilliance. The Brazilian star's ability to bounce back from adversity and continue to captivate audiences around the world speaks volumes about his passion for the game and his undeniable talent. In total, Ronaldinho scored 280 goals and provided 166 assists in 719 club appearances across his entire career. His impact on the game extended beyond the pitch, as his magnetic personality and love for the sport inspired countless young players to follow in his footsteps. As one of the most iconic and beloved footballers of his generation, Ronaldinho's legacy will continue to be celebrated and cherished by fans and players alike. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and career of Ronaldinho, the legend, the magician, the icon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share your favorite Ronaldinho moments in the comments below. Until next time, keep celebrating the magic of football and the unforgettable legacy of one of its greatest artists, Ronaldinho.